Have you checked out Ray 3 from Luma Labs? If you haven't, I think you should do so. You can turn from text to video, keyframe to video, reference to video, even do annotations on the keyframe to make the video. And one of the coolest features I think from Ray 3 is that you can actually create videos in draft mode. That means you'll be able to work quicker to generate those videos in draft. And once you're good to go, turn it into a high five video. So let me show you this right now. So right now I am located in Dream Machine and we're gonna work in Ray 3. To get started, let me show you a brand new board. So let's go ahead and click on the plus button and we can get started with several ways. First thing I wanna do is show you the main features here by clicking on this option right here where it's going to open up this menu. So first off, we can make a video by describing what we want. So we can describe it via text and it's gonna turn it into a video, which is pretty cool, right? Now, once you select describe, you have several options. So you can make an image, you can make a video, set the ratio for that video and this is the feature that i really like is the draft mode if you don't want draft you can select a low quality or a higher quality type of video here and then you have your model you got ray 3 for your normal aspect creation of videos and if you have some specific details where you want to generate a video with more reasoning then select ray 3 reasoning okay then we have the amount of videos. So one video or two videos at run. Remember, these will create draft videos. We got the timing here, five or 10 seconds, SDR, HDR, and HDR, XER. Now, right now we're in draft, so we don't get those options. That is by describing, which is straightforward, right? Then we have keyframe. So things change here because we can upload a start and end frame, so it makes that video. I think this is one of my favorite features because if I just use reference, it's gonna generate the video. And if I don't describe really well what I want, it might go somewhere else. But with keyframe, I know that it's gonna make things that I, the way I want. So for example, this could be the start frame and this could be the end frame. This is an old reference image and this is the future reference image. And then I wanted to transform that. So I can now describe what I want here, but I can also make annotations to this. So for example, there's a little icon right here that says annotation, it has like a scribble here. I'm gonna select it and I can tell it to do things. So for example, if it's gonna be an arrow, I can decide where that is gonna to point to. So these cars are gonna go this way. I, I wanna make sure that they go this way. And if I wanna make it go reverse, well, I would add the arrow the other way, even though they are pointing this way. So with describing it with visual annotations, will help it understand how to make the video. I can also draw here. So I don't know, maybe right here, I wanna draw a plane. I can make a little ugly plane right here and it's gonna do it for me. I would also describe a little bit there like in, in the description to add a plane. So in this case with the annotations, I can let it know what I want. So it helps it. So I got my description, I got the visual annotations, and then I can kick off the draft mode by sending this off. So in this case, it's gonna do its job and it's gonna generate for me a draft video. That way it's gonna be quicker. I'll be able to make sure that this is what I want. And if it's not what I want, I'll go ahead and continue generating other draft videos until I get the one I want. Then I'll turn it into a high five video. And here we go, our video is now ready. Remember we added a start and end frame from the past to the future. And we got this draft video. Remember this is draft. If I like this, I can turn it into a high quality version. If I don't like it, I can go ahead and create another draft. These will generate much quicker and the flow to start working with videos will be much quicker when you use draft. So if I like this, I can go and turn it into high five. So let's go ahead and turn this right now. Let's go high five. And here we go. Now we should be waiting for the results. It will take a bit longer because that's gonna turn the idea with the draft mode into a high quality version. So it, it speed ups the process to making videos. So let me give you a quick example here of a quality version. This is a different start to end frame. I, this, this was more cartoonish. And I can go ahead and reuse this if I want to. I can make modifications by clicking on modify. I got the video reference and I can use start frame and modify frame. I also have the option to extend this video more like this. And I have further options to delete this and view the other videos. So for example, this was the draft. You can see here, lower quality, doesn't have the same high quality as the hi-fi one. And this is the hi-fi version. It's, it's bigger, it's bolder, it's clearer and it's a way better video than the other one. So it's super easy to make videos here with Luma Labs. So what are you waiting for? Test it out for yourself, see if it's the right fit for you, and sign up with the link in the description. And that's a wrap.